All right, out on the Teton Crest Trail with Josh. It's day one. We've gone approximately a mile and a half. We started at the String Lake Trailhead and we're going up to Upper Paintbrush tonight, which is at about 86, 8,500 feet. This pack is so heavy and I feel like I'm dying. So, got seven, six days worth of food and yeah, we're off. We are at our first campsite at Upper Paintbrush Canyon. <laughs> um, it is about, I want to say it's about 7.15 right now. We got to camp. Um, Josh is feeling a little bit of altitude sickness, uh, which is understandable and kind of expected because we live at about 2,000 feet and we're right now at 9,200 feet. So... Yeah, it's getting cold, the sun went down, Josh is off getting water because we did not plan well and we ran out. Uh, we ate dinner, uh, see if that helped with some of the altitude sickness. It's just just feeling a little tightness. Um, I'm feeling good, uh, just some anxiety about the altitude sickness at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, after the Tahoe Rim Trail I just am like super concerned about altitude sickness because that's what got me off it. but. Right now we're just going to take it minute by minute. We're supposed to go over a 10,000 foot pass tomorrow, so we're just going to see like how it feels and um, yeah, see how it goes. I'm just feeling a little, I think we're both feeling a little pessimistic. <laughs> we're supposed to do the whole crest trail, um, but the altitudes, you know, it's not a joke and so we're taking it seriously and yeah, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, just like, this is so nuts. It's just like the most beautiful place I've ever been. And um, God, I love Wyoming. <laughs> Alright, day two, we're headed up the first pass of the trail, I think it's called Paintbrush Canyon Divide. The peak is at 10,700 feet, I would say that we're probably about 300 feet from the top, and you can see a glacier <laughs> behind me. Uh, a lot of the pass has been scree, which has been difficult, but the view is insane. <laughs> so we're almost there, and then we'll get to Lake Solitude, which is at 9,000 feet, so we'll be dropping up and down. There's Josh. Look at that. So this is what we're going up. 
it's gonna go like there, winds over there. See that guy? And then it just goes right up up there. <laughs> so this is the trail up the pass, and that's where we were. Oh, and then that's where we're going. reached our campsite for day two. <laughs> oh my god, it was such a hard day. Um, yeah, I my back is really hurting and at one point we were at, we got over to Lake Solitude and I was just crying in pain. Um, we're both exhausted and um, yeah, we're at S South Cascade Fork Camp Area. Um, thankfully the first campsite was available because we were like taking breaks every like 20 feet <laughs> we got to the camp zone and we saw the campsite sign and we're like oh my god please be available <laughs> anyway I'm just sitting here now eating gushers and finally feeling like a human again. I don't know. I had a rough, really rough day. I did not think that this trail would be this hard. I mean, I knew it would be really hard, but I think that it's because of the elevation too. And like going over that pass today was just so, really sketched me out. Especially the descent. It was like two and a half miles of descent down pretty rocky, like rocky terrain, and my back was hurting, my feet were hurting, and um, anyway, we made it to camp. We're gonna set up the tent in a second, uh, and then eat some dinner, because we're both just really hungry. And it's cold. This area is really beautiful because it's like all lush green and forest, and there's like a river going through it, so it's really nice because there's the river and it's lush, but it's also colder. Uh, the other areas were really dry, and this area is cold and damp. And so, anyway. Reminds me of Oregon, though, which is it's nice. I kind of feel like I'm at home. Anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Good morning from day three. We are currently hiking out on the Cascade Canyon Trail down from where we slept last night at South Cascade Fork Camp Zone. I get it wrong every time. Anyway, uh, we're hiking down. It's about 6.2 miles to the car and we saw a mother bear and her cub, which was neat, um, from a pretty far distance though. So anyway, and there's Josh. <laughs> that I didn't really wrap up the Teton video um, so I am home now and I just wanted to put a little bit in here about like my reflections on the trip so we hiked down Cascade Canyon down to the car 
And um, it was just like a very long, long hike out. Um, we were both in uh, quite a bit of pain. Josh had some blisters. I thankfully didn't get any blisters on this trip. But yeah, so we hiked out. It was a, it was a pretty long day. I would say it was like seven and a half miles. Most of it was downhill. And by the time we got to the car, it was just like beat. And uh, we went and got food in Jackson and then drove to Boise that day and then home to Southern Oregon the next day. So it was a, it was a long couple of days. Um, just a few reflections on the trip, like what I would change if I did it again. I think I would try staying at lower paintbrush the first night for a couple reasons. One would be just because it's a lower elevation. Um, we were from coming from 2,000 feet and while we didn't have like really bad um, altitude sickness, I would have preferred to stay at a lower elevation the first night. And then I would probably have stayed at North Fork Cascade campsite if possible instead of the southern one, knowing that we were going to do that Canyon Creek trail out. Um, like I've said in the past, though, we were planning on doing the entire like Teton Crest Trail, um, but definitely underestimated like the altitude change and how our bodies would feel after that many or after I think it was like two days um, with that many miles. So anyway, those are kind of the things I would change. But overall, it was a really great trip. We had a great time. It was so beautiful and just really... Um, yeah, just a really wonderful time out in the wilderness where we were able to reconnect and um, just be away from our phones pretty much the whole time without service. So we had a really good time. I would recommend uh, that trail to people who are in pretty good shape, though, I would say. Um, the going over the pass was really hard. And some people go clockwise, so they go up Canyon Creek and then down Paintbrush Divide. I think that would actually be a good trail, except the de the descent down that paintbrush divide going clockwise, I think would be kind of sketchy. I thought it was kind of sketchy going up it. So going down, I think would have really intimidated me um, just because I'm not used to scree and I, I personally wouldn't want to do that, but that is an option and it would be a more gradual ascent up to paintbrush divide if that's something you're interested in. Also, the Canyon Creek Trail was pretty gradual compared to the Paintbrush Canyon Trail. So just something to keep in mind. I think I'm going to film like a unloading my pack video in a couple minutes just because everything is still in my pack. And that'll give someone who's possibly thinking about doing this trail an idea of what I packed. So stay tuned for that. And um, thank you again to anyone who watches my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. See you for the next adventure.